What's going on guys, Ricky with BD Outdoors. Today we're gonna gill and gut a bluefin tuna. Um, we caught this bluefin earlier today and generally you're gonna wanna do this right away after catching them, especially with that bigger fish. Um, it helps the fish cool down a lot quicker, but this smaller size model, maybe 40, 50 pounds, um, they don't take as long to ice down. This thing was iced down super well. And for the sake of demonstration, we wanted to be somewhere calm um, so that we could show you guys how to go about gill and gutting. Today we're gonna gill and gut with a six inch um, butcher knife by Dexter. These are super popular knives for this application. Um, you see them a ton on sport boats. They're on a ton of private boats as well. And um, they're just a really sharp and useful blade for, for gill and gutting, you know, bluefin from anywhere from 20 to uh, upwards of 200 pounds. So we'll, we'll dive into it here. So first thing that I like to do, um, I'm gonna make just a small cut right above the anal fin here, um, all the way through the skin there. And then what this is gonna do is allow me to get to this little fiber here. And we're actually gonna have to detach this so you can just give it a quick snip. And then once that's detached, that'll allow all of the guts to come out of the fish um, when we get the gills out as well. So then diving up into the gilling section, um, I do like to kind of just make a cut along the top here, kind of open it up and give easier access into the gills there. This is not really the easiest thing to show, um, but the whole point of this, this process is to detach the gills here from the membrane. So you kind of slide it open here, you can see the gills in there. Um, we bled this fish obviously, so these gills have been cut already. And we're just gonna go to work and start detaching the rest of the gills from uh, the, the fish here. It can be pretty um, tough sometimes to cut through, but this knife uh, is extremely sharp. And then once you see, uh, you know, once you see the gills like this, obviously that's been detached. We're gonna do this on, on the other side as well. And a, an area that a lot of people get hung up on is on the roof of the, uh, the fish's mouth right here. Um, so make sure to get a good cut in there. So now that we finished with the first side, we're gonna move on to the second side here. Again, um, I'm gonna start and just kind of give myself a little more working space by cutting forward on the gill plate right there so that I can get in here a little bit more easily. Um, you can see this side's not attached anymore, but this side just has a little bit of work to do. So we'll just come around with this knife here and detach these as best we can. Like I said, um, this roof of the mouth area is where a lot of people get hung up. But thankfully this uh, butcher knife that's kind of made for hunting actually is uh, really kind of perfect for this application here. So now that I've got both sides of this fish's gills detached, we're gonna pull out the gills. Um, the hope being that when we pull out the gills, the guts come out with it. You um, generally wanna try and get them all out at once. Sometimes you have to do two or three passes and, and dig into the fish. So we'll go ahead and pull these out now. You'll see the stomach, the liver, the whole deal here. So there's one. And then uh, just sometimes you need to grab an extra pass. This is all the guts that were in the cavity of that fish. Um, if you're offshore, go ahead and just toss them um, into the ocean. Um, obviously, we are back at the dock, so we're gonna take this uh, and, and, and throw it in the trash here. So the reason we gill and gut fish, one is to ice them down quicker. Once you get all these guts out of the cavity of the fish, you're actually able to stuff ice into the fish. That's really important when we catch those bigger 150, 200 plus pound models um, to be able to get ice in there and cool that fish down make the meat quality the best that it can be. Um, another reason being that when you fight these fish, you're pulling on them anywhere from five to you know upwards of an hour and a half, and that releases lactic acid into the meat. Pulling out all these guts ensures that the toxins don't get released into the meat of the fish, and uh, you know, you're know you going home with the best uh, quality product possible. So again, we use the six inch Dexter uh, butcher knife here. Like I said, you see these on a ton of boats. They last forever, they're extremely sharp, and uh, really I don't think there's a better knife for this application. So thanks for watching, hope you guys learned something, and uh, if you haven't started already, make sure you start gill gutting your fish.